Oh, hi. You're probably wondering what I'm doing in my car, just sitting down all alone in the quiet. Well, guess we're about to find out. Now this was a small video, but it's been long overdue. Now, if everyone remembers, a while back I bought a 10.1 inch radio bezel, which pretty much everyone's going after. So I thought I will do this video uh, giving some information. How has it been? Is it still working? Is the touchscreen good enough? All that stuff. So let's get right to it. Now some of you might remember that I did take it off and I went to a single din radio um, with a faceplate. It's all the way down here, which you guys can see it's working. It fit perfectly. The screw mounts and all that stuff, they are all there as if they meant for us to also have that option for radios. But I will apologize for having no power on the radio itself. I did take it off a while back and I will be going into details as to why I did the switch. So reason number one for the switch was that there is one wire, I forgot which one it was, which Obviously it was my fault for um, not wiring or I don't know, soldering or whatever it was that I did, I don't remember right now. But the reason was that whenever I was driving, it was doing that little annoying sound like if I'm riding a moped. You know, like the more gas you gave it, the more it went. So it was like that, and that, that annoying sound. So that, that alone was annoying the heck out of me. Sometimes I had to, bang on the on the dash or whatnot hit the radio for it to stop for a while but it will always come back so reason number two and the worst of them all is the fact that whenever you are at a stoplight it turns green and you hit the gas and whatnot to go sometimes it would end up flying off like crazy um this happened to me while I was driving a bunch of times and it's super embarrassing it's dangerous one you have probably a pound pound and a half here because the radio itself it is heavy it's a 10.1 it's big if you guys see it's this is this is the side view of it and these are the wires under it's pretty much the route right through there and yeah this this thing would end up flying off and sometimes I had to duck to the side it was super dangerous reason being that yes it has these clips right but over time I guess the Sun hitting it so much because Remember, it's also right here under the glass, intensifying the heat of the sun. And this, I guess, will start losing its rigidity and will end up letting go. As you, if you see, some of them are not even straight. Like this one right at the end where it's supposed to clip, it turns in a little. This one kind of, this one's leaning a little bit. But yeah, the sun just gets to it. And whenever you're driving... It just lets go so my tip would be if you're gonna go with this radio one fix the sound make sure you got every single wire soldered correctly connected correctly all that stuff make sure you got that and then second if you are going to use it again um, do something take out the whole um, the whole cubby thing and make sure you come up with a solution to either strap it down I, I don't know I don't know honestly um, I can't think of anything that quick because obviously I'm not using it anymore I am going to keep it just in case maybe down the road I'll use it again but like I said I will make sure that I do something for it to not pop out at all so in terms of the radio itself um 
no problems whatsoever. It did what it needed to do. I used to listen to music and all that stuff. The bezel, I would say pay attention to the two main stuff that I just mentioned, but um, other than that, you can get it. Um, it's a nice piece. Um, I used to get stopped a lot and get compliments. They would ask me where did I get the bezel and the radio and I would just tell them. So short, informative, like I said, and giving you the reason as to why I stopped using it. Hope you guys like this little video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. I don't know nobody on my level,